what is going on lunatics it's time to get serious about burns we're going to talk about how much could be burned over the next couple of days we're going to really kind of dig in here and see if there's any path forward with this uh, new burn 1.5 percent burn tax I, again i gave you some estimates yesterday um, but one of the things that came up was binance is whitelisted so the tax for binance doesn't really apply so that changes things dramatically but not so much that it's not going to be a significant amount of burn no matter what so we're going to talk about that we're going to look at it uh, i'm going to give you the the deets if you will and if you like this type of content uh, hit the like button for me but let's get started so first terraform labs co-founder and crypto fugitive duquan is set for extradition to south korea meaning that he will stand trial uh, in his home country instead of in the United States. Uh, it's been decided by the Montenegro police. And of course, the, the Montenegro, the, it, it doesn't really matter at this point because Terraform Labs, the prosecution is already finished in the United States and they filed for bankruptcy. So uh, they no longer need Duquan to be here. And Duquan also paid them $240 million as his civil penalty for what's going on already. How's he have 240 million? He said he was broke, right? By the way, I do want to point out here that I have largely been a supporter of Duquan, believing that he was being attacked for uh, reasons that we were not really clear about. But going back to 2021, it became very, very clear that, it, and by the way, one of the things that we thought about Duquan was that he helped the death spiral and caused it, and that was not true. However, the Jump Crypto had stepped in in 2021 and he had manipulated and lied to everybody about what was going on. So uh, there was still a lot of guilt there. Now he did not cause the, the death spiral. His lack of, um, his hubris, if you will, uh, did help it, but he was not deliberate in trying to wreck his own project. That was not how this played out. So he paid $240 million penalty and now he's going to South Korea. Now. Uh, here's an update from Genuine Labs. It just got posted. Uh, representing Genuine Labs, I submitted this proposal. Uh, the overview here, this is the tax to gas implementation. Uh, here's the moving custom author fee logic for tax to gas, uh, giving a method of calculus. This, by the way, this does mean that we are going to have to you know, vote on the implementation of this now that it has been completed, right? Uh, we face strong opposition from some members of the community that leads us to seek the community's agreement to decide if we should implement tax to gas in this way or not. So um, I, I would suggest that you go read through this. They have not put it up for a vote yet, so uh, but it is important that you know exactly what it is. So they put together everything, and there was the pros here. Um, uh, users will not have to overpay for gas, and the simulation process will be more precise. Uh, the cons, validators might take a little bit less reward than usual. So, uh, it, and this is, and by the way, this is giving you uh, a little bit of a, a pro and con on each and every one of these pieces here. Uh, convert all taxes to gas. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, this right here is where the consideration is. The pros allows you to pay multiple denoms to cover gas, but it also user might choose less valuable tokens to pay gas. However, that can be adjusted with updated params proposal when the ratio is not precise. So uh, there is a, a work around that. But again, you know, we don't want to have the KRTC token or something like that being the one that was used for gas because that doesn't burn anything and that doesn't do anything. That just cleans up maybe your wallet or something like that. And that's not what this purpose is right here. So um, you'll have to read through this and decide whether or not this is the vote for you. Overall, I think the answer should be yes. There's only so much um, left over that have very little value, by the way. So there's there's only so many AUTCs and KRTCs and stuff like that. So th this is a problem, but it's a very minor problem at this point. And it could end up being, by the way, uh, one of the, the the one of the things that I thought about was maybe just maybe somebody's going to put uh, another Cosmos uh, token. Uh, like Rakoff or something, and they start burning some of the supply of some of the meme tokens that we have in this ecosystem, thus creating a burn protocol and a mechanism by which those can be reduced in supply. Uh, I, I don't know if it's on the list, you know what I mean? So um, we'll see how this plays out. Now let's look at the price action. Uh, as you guys can see, we've got uh, just, we, we still have downward pressure. We still have downward momentum. Uh, we're still in this channel. 
but we're near the top of it. That usually is a good sign. Now, the last time we did that, we did break down all the way to the bottom, and we could have a corrective move down into this range right here, taking it to 405 before continuing on and back up. And that, of course, would cause a lot more. Um, uh, we're going to need a lot more to break out from that period or that spot, right? The question is new buyers stepping in. The market market's a little exhausted right now. It really is. So we're down $26 billion on the day. We were down $70 billion yesterday before suddenly reversing and becoming positive. So, you know, a lot of sell-off, a lot of stuff. And today is a Friday expiry day. So there could be some more downward momentum <coughs> in this market before we make another big or broad sort of move up. And for that, I'm going to tell you Bitcoin. Uh, could we come back down here into this 53 or 54 before continuing on? Now, just consider here in the event that we do this, and you know, there is a trend line here saying that we are coming down slowly but surely. And if you go and grant here that we're doing this as well, we are still coming down. So there's still some more downward momentum that might be playing out. So, you know, this could affect a lot of the market. Uh, USTC, again, doing the same thing that Luna Classic is doing. So there's not really too much variance about that. Um, uh, you know, if something changes, then, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Uh, as far as meme coins go, uh, just a red day, basically. Uh, you know, we're not having the, the nice big moves that we were hoping, you know, fingers crossed, to see in this market so far. But that doesn't mean that it won't happen. It just means that it hasn't happened as of yet. Now, let's talk tax to gas uh, or the 1.5% burn tax. Let's let's break this down real quick because the biggest problem was volume and how many tokens could be burned. And we can't, you know, I can't give you an average because it doesn't, it just doesn't work like that. But, you know, let's go to 24 hour volume. And let's say that, you know, we've got 17 million in volume, but it looks like 8.2 million of that is Binance. So in the event that we were, um, you know, we had 8 million in uh, volume for the day times 0.015, which is going to be um, 1.5 percent. That's $120,000 per day. Now we divide that by what is our current price here? Uh, zero uh, point uh, one two three. Let's call it eight still, and then we enter that, and that's right there. It's 150 million per day. So uh, 150 million per day. That's not insignificant. It's not huge, but over 30 days times 30, this is where we have to look at it because Binance is currently burning about 1.1 billion, somewhere between 1 and 2 billion per day. This would be uh, 4.5 billion per day at current levels. So this does this belies the fact that if we go back here and consider some of the price volume that we see and, and you go back here to like a one month chart and you see 24 hour trading volume 27 million of course when this volume comes down like this and we don't see those big spikes that 85 million that we're seeing right there uh how much of it was binance well it doesn't really matter because you know if we if a lot of it will be binance but the rest of the market will also benefit from that so if they're whitelisted that means that the burns are going to be cut basically in half but they're still significant amounts of burns now here's the part that matters the most if we come back over here and we simply just extrapolate this math and we say that what's the average volume per day uh, and it's probably going to be a lot more than what we're talking about because we're only doing eight right here right what if that's 18 million per day you know a very simple number here that's 270,000 again divided by point one two three four eight then the amount of burns uh, becomes uh, 3.37 billion per day. Now, uh, let, let's take that over 30 days, and now you're looking at 101 billion being done. So there's a significant increase in the amount of burns that is coming to this ecosystem. We're not there yet, but you know, if this is passed, then there, there will be more burns that are happening, and that's going to be a really good thing for the whole ecosystem. At this point, it's not about exchange listings. And I know a lot of people have talked about, by, by the way, and let me stress this. It doesn't matter what the exchanges have. It doesn't matter what's on the exchange. None of that matters, okay? What matters is trade volume and lowering the supply. That should be the focus, okay? Now, if we assume at that point, uh, at this point that that is the focus, then you can see here, we are rapidly going to start burning some tokens. That will happen. Now, the other part is we could miss this cycle 
uh, and, and just say, you know, we'll probably not get into a dollar. I gave you 2.8 cents that was based on some kind of burn like this that, that seems to be ready to be implemented and could cause a, cause a big spike in everything. And by the way, you're not paying the gas, like it's, uh, it, 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 or you are paying it, um, but it, it's going to be processed uh, just basically by all of the trade volume that's going on and should, I don't know, should help, it's, no matter what's going to help the project. But anyway, uh, so there are exactly three places that you need to be on Telegram. Cryptonomy updates, where you get all the daily market updates and information that you need in order to be a successful investor. Cryptonomy finance to get all of the news that you need to get you through this day. And Cryptonomy community so that you can engage with other like-minded people to talk about what is going on in the cryptocurrency market. And do not forget to follow at Cryptonomy underscore Phi on X for all of your up-to-date information. All right, guys, looking in on my fixed deposits, as you can see, we've completed a couple of them right now. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin, 0.012 Bitcoin right now. That's about 0.05 Bitcoin, a couple thousand dollars in value at this point. What I'm going to do today, we're going to make another big deposit. I'm going to use 406 million SHIB. I'm going to stake this for nine months. Again, I do believe about nine months from now going to be the optimal time. So 71.8% APY. We're going to continue that. We're going to accept. All right, now we're locked in with 406 million SHIB, 71.8% return. Uh, I think that's going to be a fantastic yield. Uh, super excited about this one. But as you guys can see, what am I earning over here? I've got an Ethereum that I'm going to pull out pretty soon, 0.67 ETH already. By the end of this, I'm going to have earned 0.99 Ethereum. My XRP, an extra 2,313 XRP. Don't forget the magnificent yields being done on the ROIs right here for the launch pool. We are getting fantastic returns. Guys, you got to stake with Cryptonomy.finance. So guys, make sure you check out Cryptonomy.finance today. Back to this. The $101 billion for a month would be an incredible amount, especially if Binance is only burning like one to two billion. So there's a significant supply increase here that that we could be looking at. Now play this out over 12 months. Uh, that's over 12 months now. Um, that means you're gonna be burning one trillion, 1.01 trillion in the course of a one year period. So uh, this is big. Now it's gonna take a couple years to get us down into a realm that would be reasonable. Again, this is based on an increase in volume as well, not on Binance. So, you know, it would take some, you know, but here's the thing. Uh, once that were to happen, once we were to be able to diminish supply down to a reasonable level, let's say that we decide the reasonable level is like a trillion tokens or something like that, then we will have cut down the supply by about 85%. At that point, we'll have a much, uh, you know, a much more, much less diluted uh, sort of the market cap would, would broaden. We would have a much bigger price action. I mean, just imagine that you're, you know, seven, eight X from where we are right now. You know, that's how this would play out. That's a big number, uh, not huge, but but big. And that would give us the opportunity for attracting new investors, new uh, people Then we're going to be into the bull run. So, you know, that should extrapolate itself a whole lot further. So I think we're in a very good position. It's just a matter of implementation and time. So uh, let's see how this plays out. Now, if you want to trade these meme tokens over here, uh, make sure that you come to Terraport.finance, sponsor the channel. They're the guys that are that are making all this magic happen here, uh, where you guys get the updates on what is going on. Now, in my earning protocol over here, you can see here, I'm going to claim, uh, we're going to user approval. We're going to claim these tokens over here uh, so that we now have them. And we're going to sign that off with Luna Classic. And once the transaction is confirmed, we will have claimed those tokens and we're going to leave that staked for right now. Uh, I don't know if we can re if we can renew or not or if it's automatically still just kind of sitting in there. Um, I've still got the stake on here. I'm going to let this run for a little while and see if I don't accumulate just a few more. So if I do, I'm just going to let this kind of ride for the moment at this 16% level. Uh, now I've got a few more tokens and you know we'll put it up here for a better. Uh, the second one is sold out. 
So the best we can do is this 90 day one. Uh, but again, you know, the interest rate on it is just, you know, it's not as much. Uh, I could still farm this and, and there's no incentive. The incentive would have been this 24, but somebody's already in there and it's 100% full. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll stick with this for right now. I just kind of leave it here, and I'll let you know if the, the rewards continue. Uh, oh, this must be unstaked because does not give any more money. So, yeah, we're going to have to unstake it all. Um, so we'll do this. Okay, so now we're unstaked. So now let's take this 90-day stake, and we're going to pop this in right here. And we've now got maximum amount, which is 5026 And we're going to throw that in and approve that all right so now we're in for 90 days at uh 19 percent so um since it's it, since it doesn't work that other way well uh, there we go so we're staked again now for 5026 for three months so let's see how it grows uh let's see let's see how it goes and grows if you will uh now also, if you haven't already, make sure you go to Terra Casino and check them out. Uh, Risk-based gaming, you know, these guys are working hard. You've got uh, people down here that are constantly playing right now. Uh, you've got some, some uh, and, and by the way, here it is right here. His wagers are dollars. So you can earn plenty of, uh, you can win big uh, or uh, just play and you're burning tokens. They just burned another million tokens just a couple days ago and as the top burners go here's the top 100 and who is up here if you guys are serious about uh burning tokens how about this since we started this all nodes hasn't been burning anything terra casino continues to lift up above them and continues to burn more tokens than even all nodes you know we talk a big game about all nodes but all nodes is not big game uh and, and as a matter of fact when it comes to all nodes Practicing what I preach. I told you guys I'm not delegating with all nodes anymore. My expiry on that is August 5 of 2024. Uh, right here, um, I'm unstaking mine. And I'm going to stake it with people who vote the way that I want the voting to happen. So, you know, we'll see how that plays out. But just want you guys to know that. But Terra Casino, if you are interested, Luna Classic, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Litecoin, BNB, BUSD, Polygon Matic, XRP, USDC, USDT, Dogecoin, plenty of different tokens for you to play with over here. And by the way, if you want to, once you've connected your wallet, you can change your wallet to any one of these. You can use an Ethereum-based wallet. You can use a BSC-based wallet. You can use a Polygon. BSC, by the way, and Ethereum are the same wallet. Uh, but Polygon and Terra, uh, you can use whichever supported network that you want to be part of to, to, to play on this place. So terracasino.io, check it out today. And then in closing here, uh, just another note here, uh, staking is now at an all-time high. There are now 1.04 trillion tokens that are being staked with these validators right now. So uh, continuing to secure the network, and that's a very good thing. Uh, if those are the ones that are left, if those are the only tokens that are left at the end, we only have a trillion left. So uh, interesting times, and it's only gonna get better. Now, the market is a little bit wonky. You might see ups, you might see downs, but what you will see uh, over the, the long term is the continued positive price action for Luna Classic. Uh, is it only up from here? Not exactly, the markets are, are weird things, but is it long term only up from here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna have a nice little rip. We're gonna have a nice little run. Uh, we are not done yet. Uh, this market will send this project. We'll be at 0 .001, I think, by the end of this year. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And then uh, then we look for the big move, which is going to be the blow-off, uh, which, you know, we'll start seeing a lot of burns and stuff like that. It's going to be an interesting thing. Hope you're with me uh, for this ride. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.